it started at a very young age. I can remember uh, being in my family old station wagon at the age of you know nine, ten, eleven in in that range. And there was a program in Chicago, the Larry Lou Jack Show, and every afternoon he had a segment called Animal Stories, which was a wacky, zany take on just crazy stories and he had character voices and all these sound effects and I never missed that segment. And pretty much since that that moment, uh, I just got hooked on radio, hooked on the medium, loved the spontaneous and entertaining aspects of it and have been hooked ever since. I would say the vast majority of individuals who have gone through the sports facet of the program have been a sports enthusiast, uh, to be sure. Maybe maybe it's baseball over football, or maybe it's an NBA league over something else, but by and large, I think that's the common thread. Or maybe they grew up playing sports, and they excelled in sports, and they just always loved the competition of that, and very much so. Radio, like many businesses, it is competition. You're only as good as your last segment or last radio show or, or what have you. In terms of what the program offers for an individual that isn't really interested in sports, I would say that the big thing is from a presentation standpoint, how you gain the confidence to reach an audience, how you kind of come through and project. It doesn't matter if you're doing a podcast on favorite restaurants or if you're reviewing and critiquing a film review, or if you're doing general news talk. The great thing about the program is there are a lot of common similarities and common lessons where it doesn't really matter uh, the, the format. One of the early things that I advise and instruct our students to do is not just listen to their favorite radio station and kind of critique it for an hour or two. What's the ratio of talk versus branding? What's the ratio of commercial to talk time? Sometimes, and this just happened a few weeks ago, the takeaway, it was, Craig, could that actually be right? When I created a log of my favorite radio station, I only came up with in a given hour that my favorite disc jockey spoke for a grand total of six to six and a half minutes. And it's like, you don't really have that appreciation, but how do you in a 15 or 20 second exchange, all told that jock in New York opened up her microphone 12 times, but the individual moments of her delivery to the audience were 10 to 15 seconds in duration. So how do you get the most important message or messaging to your listeners in a short form burst? If you only have 10 or 15 seconds before the vocals hit on, a, on some hot song, we train you how to do that and how to maximize the time, short form, long form, or even in the disc jockeying realm.